Hi everyone, I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Tony. I'd like to welcome you to my channel. Uh, today I am going to be making a meal for Virgos because I'm doing a series on horoscopes and Virgo being an earth sign and it is fall out there. So I thought I'd make something kind of kind of earthy, kind of, you know, warm up your belly a little bit. So I hope Virgos that you like what I'm about to make for you. Uh, I'm going to make a shepherd's pie, not just a regular shepherd's pie, but it's going to be something a little bit different. Uh, so my ingredients are going to consist of uh, some jalapeno peppers, uh, some mushrooms, some green onions. Now, you can use red onions, white onions, just so happened I had green onions in the house. Uh, some garlic, some paprika, uh, some broth, I'm going to use some tomato paste. Uh, some room temperature uh, margarine, butter, sorry, butter, uh, some cream cheese, some salt, some pepper, and then an egg. And then, of course, my burger, and I've gone ahead and pre-cut uh, my carrots. Now, you can use carrots, you can use peas, you know, any green veggie that you like. I want to go with carrots today. Uh, and also, too, about uh, about six, six or seven uh, potatoes. And I've gone ahead and I've cut them really, really small, uh, just so that they can cook a little, uh, a little bit more even. So I think I have all my ingredients ready. So I think we can get started. Okay, I have put the burger on. I also have the potatoes on, and I do have the carrots on. Uh, I'm steaming my carrots as opposed to boiling them. Uh, I just like to steam things. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to. You know, fry up the burger. I don't want to overdo the burger too much. I don't want it too crispy, uh, but I do want to cook through. So we're going to get this going here like this. And once my burger is all nice and done, I did not add anything to the pan because uh, I am going to get quite a bit of, uh, you know, grease and moisture and fat and whatever from the burger. So I really don't need to add anything else to it. So we're just going to kind of brown this down here a little bit. Uh, once it's done, I will start start incorporating uh, the rest of the herbs, the salt and pepper, and so on. So, uh, mm, ooh, it's going to be good. Okay, and the burger's coming along absolutely beautifully. So I think I can start incorporating some of my other uh, ingredients. Uh, so I'm going to add uh, some mushrooms. And I am going to add some jalapeno peppers. Now, I know this isn't your traditional shepherd's pie. Uh, didn't say anything about it being a traditional shepherd's pie. I'm not a traditional guy, so I like to make things a little bit different. Uh, that's just how I will. I am now going to add uh, some onions, green onions. Again, you can add uh, red onions, you can add white onions. Right. So we're just going to fry this up here a little bit. We're going to let it kind of render a little bit. Ooh, it's starting to smell really, really nice. Uh, anybody that knows me does know that, you know, I do like a little bit of spice to my food. Beautiful. Wow, it smells delicious. So right now I'm going to add a little bit of, uh, a little bit of pepper, just a little bit to start off with. Again, you can season everything to taste. Right. So again, a little bit of salt. Beautiful. Uh huh. Now, at this point right now, if you wanted to, you could add a little bit of uh, a little bit of thyme in here, uh, which would make it, you know, way more uh, fragrant and spicy. Uh, you could also add. Uh, some Worcester sauce uh, to it, uh, and again, that would just enhance the meat a little bit. Uh, but like I say, I am going to be doing something a little bit different. Wow, smells yum yum. So I think I'm ready to add my garlic. Again, I didn't want to add my garlic right in the beginning, because I really, really didn't want it to, uh, to burn, per se. So we're just going to mix everything up, just like that. Beautiful. Beautiful, 
Okay, so I'm just going to turn down the heat a little bit. I'm just going to continue frying this for another few more minutes. Uh, and then I can uh, add my other ingredients. Okay, it is coming along beautifully. Uh, I am now going to add a little bit of paprika in here. Uh, I love paprika. It's a Spanish paprika. I'd say maybe about, uh, about a half a teaspoon more or less. It all depends on how much you like. Uh, I am also going to incorporate uh, some tomato paste in. Uh, about, about that much, maybe a little bit more, about that, about two teaspoons, oh, you know what, let's just use all of it, there we go, beautiful, I'm just going to turn down the heat a little bit, I am now going to put in my stock, I'm just going to mix this up, I'm using about, uh, I'd say about three-quarter cup of, uh, of beef broth. About that much there. Beautiful. Now, if you wanted to, you could also use like, uh, uh, do a little bit of flour, uh, a little bit of flour and a little bit of water too. I mean, you can do that uh, just to kind of get a bit, a bit of a gravy per se. But I'm thinking that This will actually make it uh, turn out just right. Awesome, awesome sauces. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm just going to turn down the heat a little bit. I want to give it a little bit of a taste. Mmm, mmm. Wow, really, really nice. Not too spicy. It really taste the jalapenos and the mushrooms. Wow, delicious. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit, just like that. And so I have it about on about a one, more or less. Uh, and we're good to go. Again, just taste it. Uh, if you decide that you wanna put in a little bit of onion powder or a little bit more pepper, you know, it's all about taste. Uh, so now I am going to let this simmer for a few minutes and I'm going to go and get my potatoes ready. Uh, I can't wait. This smells heavenly. Okay, and the potatoes are good to go, so we're going to go ahead and mash them. Now, they're done just right, just fork tender, right, just like that. Now, I did uh, drain them really, really, really well. I mean, you don't want a lot of moisture in here uh, from the potatoes, per se, because then it'll just make everything too, too soggy. Nice and easy peasy. I love potatoes. They are one of my soul food. And I suspect that Virgos love potatoes because they are an earth sign. And they love everything earthy. Uh, most of the time. <laughs> so here we go. Oh, that looks absolutely wonderful. Oh, yeah. They're coming along really, really well. Nice and creamy. I'm just going to add a little bit of, uh, add a little bit of milk. Just a splash in here, and then I am going to add my butter. Now, the butter's at room temp, so it's nice and melted. Beautiful. I'm just going to mash this up here a little bit, just like that. Oh, yeah, they look absolutely delicious. creamy. I love the creamy ones. Here we go. And now I think I'm ready to add my cream cheese. Gotta have a little bit of cream cheese in here. There we go. Oh wow. They look and smell delicious. Now you can add a little bit of salt and pepper at this point if you want to. All depends on your taste, it depends on your palate. Oh wow, they are so creamy. Uh, I think I am going to add just a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. I'm not going to overdo it too much. Uh, I, again, because everything is kind of spicy. But I do, add, I do like to add a little bit in here. 
Uh, at this point, too, if you really wanted to, you could add another herb in here, like say if you wanted to add like a parsley or, or whatnot. But as you can see, they look absolutely creamy and delish. Delish. Like, oh my heavens. I Now I'm just going to add a little bit, just a little bit of Parmesan in here. There we go. Just a little bit of parm. So you gotta give it that little bit of extra zip. Beautiful. Wow. These are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh my. I must taste them. Mmm. Wonderful. Absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Creamy, creamy, creamy. Uh, so I think we are good to go. Uh, my next step now is I'm going to bring up my, uh, my baking dish. I'm going to layer everything on the bottom. And uh, we'll start adding the other ingredients to it. Okay, and I think we're ready. So I am going to incorporate the meat. Oh, it smells absolutely delicious. It tastes really nice, too. It's a, it's a little bit of a twist. So, I mean, it's not your normal or your traditional, per se, uh, uh, shepherd's pie, not by any stretch of the imagination. But it's just something I decided to do on the fly. I've I've made you know shepherd's pie a few times, um, not recently, but I have made them. Uh, this one here is a little bit different because I've never really incorporated the jalapeno pepper in here before. And, but you know what? You got you know, you only live once. You got to give it a shot, right? So I think we're good to go with that. I now need to uh, incorporate my. There we go. And we're going to put in the potato. Now, I want to be a little bit careful because I really don't want to make a big mess. I guess I could have used a smaller bowl. <laughs> I didn't realize that this was such a big one, but you know what? We can make do. Beautiful. And I know this is a no-no. You should never use a spoon. Steel on steel. Bad Tony. Bad, bad Tony. There we go. So we're going to do that. I am now going to... Uh, I want to use a fork uh, to spread everything out. I really don't want to use a spoon. Uh, simply because I find that I don't want that meat really to come up and mix in there. You know what I mean? Uh, so I'm just going to mush everything around a little bit, just like that. We'll get right up into the edges. See, that's what I was talking about. Don't want it poking through. There we go. Just like that. Beautiful. Beautiful. I mean, you want to try and make it as, the layers as even as you possibly can. There we go. We'll just hide that little piece in there. Perfect. Awesome sauce. There we go. Oops. There we go. Uh, now, there's also another reason that I'm using a fork, uh, because I am going to incorporate a little bit of an egg. So when you were making, when I was making this, I could have taken just the egg yolk uh, and added it to uh, my potato mixture prior to putting everything together while I was mixing it, and that would have also helped to bind it a little bit more, uh, but yeah, I decided not to. I mean, this looks pretty good. So we're going to do everything like this. So now really what I'm going to do is I just want to score my potatoes a little bit like that. Beautiful. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour my egg yolk right up on top. Now one yolk, two yolk, three yolks, two yolks. You know, it all depends yolks you want to use. Uh, I just used one. But I guess I could have used two. Uh, really what I'm going to use the egg yolk for is it's just going to help to brown it a little bit. Alright. I'm just going to spread it out a little bit like that. Just like that. Bingo. Uh, it'll give it that nice golden color. Beautiful. 
beautiful, and I think we are good to go. Now, if you wanted to top it off with something else, if you wanted to put a little bit of extra Parmesan on here, or, or even a herb if you wanted to, uh, you could do that too. But I just decided to go with what I'm doing right now. So I do have my oven preheated uh, to 400 degrees. Uh, and we're going to put it in for about, uh, we'll say, about a half an hour. And then uh, we should be good to go. Okay, and it is done. It turned out absolutely fantastic. But I do have to laugh, though. Uh, there was one crucial ingredient that I forgot to put in. Uh, and that would have been the carrots that should have went in with the potatoes. And I have to blame... My little sous chef, because, you know, she had to go chase a bunny. <laughs> so she kind of threw me off a little bit. But I'm glad that this happened, because I wanted, I wanted to let everybody know that, you know, just because uh, you make a mistake or you forget something, it's not the end of the world, right? So, you know, you just kind of have to go with it a little bit. So, with that said, I did put my carrots on my plate. Uh... So now I'm just going to cut this up here a little bit. So I'm just going to go from a corner. I like this. I like this. Oh, like I said, it smells absolutely wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I do have to laugh, though. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot the carrots. Beautiful. And we're going to put that on there. Just like this. And voila, easy peasy, delicious and easy. Oh my heavens, you have to see this. Look at that, that is absolutely, absolutely scrumptious. Uh, so again, uh, I did forget the carrots, but you know what? I think it all worked out in the end. <laughs> so this video, video does go out to all of my Virgo friends especially my mom, love your mom, who happens to be a Virgo. So I am uh, doing a series on cooking for horoscope signs. So uh, stay tuned, because uh, I do have some other interesting things coming up for all of the other horoscope signs. So until we see each other again, you have yourselves a fantastic day or night, because I've got to go. I'm hungry now.